everybody. My name is Miss. Pa- my name is Miss Pam. I think my tongue's tied up this morning. My name is Miss Pam, and I work at Building Blocks Child Development Center here in Spencer, West Virginia. And I have a book, and I have an art project to do with you today. Our book is called Rain Talk, and the author to this book is Mary Servozo. And it's illustrated by Kiko Narahashi. And I really, really hope I said that right. This is your title of your book. This is the person that wrote all the words in the story. And this is the person that drew the pictures. And this book is Rain Talk. Plump. Go to the first. That raindrops. Plump, plump, plump into the soft summer dust of a country road. Each little drop digs a dark little hole, and the smell of wet dust tickles my nose. On the old tin roof of the garden shed, the drops all try to talk at once. Ping, ping, ping a ding, ping, 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 ping. And they chuckle together as they run down the drain. And the dog, he's going to give him a drink. It's raining harder now. Listen to the blip, 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 as it speckles the smooth surface of the pond. To Mother Duck, that says, time to go for a swim. Ducks love the rain. Out on the highway, the raindrops bounce high and whoosh and hiss as the cars hurry by. Headlights are coming on, reaching out to catch the silvery slants of rain. See these little drops? Drop, 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 drops of rain. Oh, my page is stuck together. There we go. Now all I can hear is the bup, 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 bup of the rain thumping on my umbrella and dropping and dripping all around. Ah, she's playing in the rain. Mother says it's time to come in the house and the rain tries to come in too. Flick flicking itself like pebbles against the window panes. I'd rather stay outside. I've had my supper and bath, and I lie in front of the fire, and now and then a raindrop slips down the chimney to spit and sizzle on the logs. I'm getting very sleepy here. Tucked into my bed upstairs, I tried to stay awake and listen to the drum a tum a tum a drum 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 a tum a drum a tum on the roof above my head. But my eyes just won't stay open. Tomorrow I may find the rain all gone, with only a sparkle still caught in the spider web or a flower. But I'll look first for a rainbow. The end. It is so nice to go outside and play in the rain. As long as it's not like no thunder and lightning because we don't want anybody to get hurt. But it's kind of nice to feel the rain and to smell the rain and listen to the rain. So it's out and real nice and soft and then it gets harder and harder. And if you have a tin roof, you can hear the little ping, 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 ping when it hits the roof. It's so nice. But sometimes the rain's raining so hard, it's not a good idea to go outside. And if there's thunder and lightning, it's definitely not a good idea to go outside. So we're going to make a rain project. So what we're going to do here is I have a canvas and I have a some paper, we'll use sunflower paper. And I have a paintbrush and my pencil and some scissors, some paint, and some bubble wrap, you know, that kind of stuff you like to squeeze and push and pop the bubbles. And I have a little bit of contact paper. So what we're going to do is first we're going to make us an umbrella. So on the back of my paper, I've drawn a a little bit of an umbrella shape. 
So we're going to cut this part out. Our thumb is in the little hole. Our fingers are in the big hole. Okay, and our scissors are up. Our scissors, the blade of the scissors goes right on the line. And we open and close and push our scissors through the paper. All right. Now, I don't have this part traced, but this part, you make a curve, oh, and then a curve, and a curve. Oh, the paper's getting stuck on me. I might not have it there in the camera. And the curve. And there, we've made ourselves a sunflower umbrella. Now, what we're going to do with our sunflower umbrella is we're going to take it and a piece of contact paper. Now, this is just plain contact paper, and we're going to put our umbrella on there. We're going to see where it's going to be, and we're going to go measure, kind of measure out from this corner all the way out to here. Now, you see it's right there in the middle of that line, okay? So... We can take our paper or our canvas and we're going to make us a straight line down. We're going to kind of measure and see where we need to cut. We're going to measure it right about there and make us a line on our contact paper. So we know exactly where to cut. Now it's not really easy to see, but it's on there. So we're going to cut up our paper, kind of on our line, or as close to our line as we can get, and then we're going to cut around our umbrella. Okay, turn on your paper, cut around the edge of your umbrella. Alright, let's do that. So, we're going to put our umbrella on our canvas, and we'll put it right about there. And then we're going to peel off our contact paper, and we're going to stick it to our umbrella, just like that. Okay, and we're going to stick it to our canvas. Ah, uh, no, watch it, I don't want to participate here. Just like that. Now, what we might have to do, is we'll smooth out all the wrinkles, and you can do this with a piece of paper. You don't have to have contact paper. You can just cut it out of the piece of paper and lay it down there. We're gonna put a little bit of a piece of tape underneath our umbrella and hold it all down. And you can have your adult help you. All right, so it's all smoothed down. What in the world are we going to make? You're never going to believe this. We're going to make it rain everywhere. But we don't want any rain under our umbrella. So that's why we have that on there. Okay? So, we're going to move this to the side for just a second. And then we got the fun stuff. We got the bubble wrap. Now, my bubble wrap is big, long piece of bubble wrap. We don't need that much of it. We just need a little piece. So, I'm going to use my scissors, thumb in the little hole, fingers in the big hole, and I'm going to cut my bubble wrap all the way up to there. And now, we're going to take our bubble wrap and some blue paint. Put some blue paint on our bubble wrap. And you can use your paintbrush and smooth it out like that. Or if you don't have a paintbrush, you know what else you can do? Hold on, let me get off this paintbrush real quick. You can take your paper and, and rub it, rub it, rub it. And move it around. But, you know what? It's actually easier to do with your paintbrush. So we're going to paint our bubble wrap with our paintbrush. Paint it all. We have paint all over the place. 
Put it all on there. And put it everywhere. And sometimes you have to have an adult help you, and that's okay. Need a little help? That's never a problem. All right. So you know what we you know what we do? Get our canvas back, and we take our bowl paper, and we turn it upside down, right on top of our umbrella. And now, you gotta be real careful. You hold one hand still, and move the other hand, and rub it on your paper. Now hold this one still, and rub it on this side of your paper. All right, are you ready? Look at there. We made it rain. And now we can take this, peel our paper off, peel our umbrella off real quick. Now we'll take our umbrella off of our contact paper, peel it off. Ah, uh, guess what? My paper stuck to my thing. So now you know what we gotta do? We gotta cut another umbrella. Well, sometimes those things happen. Sometimes. So we'll just take our canvas and we'll scoot it over a little bit. We'll lay our umbrella back down there and we'll trace it out again. Sometimes these things happen. Of course, I've never had it happen before, but as soon as we make a video, there we go, it happens again. So, all right, so we're gonna peel our contact paper back off the back of our umbrella again. Gracious sakes. Now let's cut out our umbrella again. These things happen sometimes, and remember, if you have a mistake, do you just throw it all away and forget it? Man, I'm not doing it. I'm just not gonna do it. Nope, we don't do that. We decide we're going to do it again, and we try, try, try until we get what we want to have done. And it's okay to have an accident, and it's okay to not have everything exactly how you want it the first time. So here's our canvas, and here's our umbrella. Oh, we need something. What does an umbrella need? It needs a handle. We don't have a handle for our umbrella. Oh no. Oh no. So we're gonna get us a piece of paper. And we'll cut us an umbrella handle. Let's get our scissors back. I've got a piece of black here. And I think I wanna cut it like a J. So we'll cut down and then turn it around. And you can have your adult help you if you need to. And you can trace it. And you can just try to cut it out by yourself. Sometimes it's just easier to try to cut everything out by yourself and, and, and learn how to do things. So here's our umbrella. Here's our handle. And then we'll just put it on there. And we'll put a piece of tape on it. Or some glue. We're just going to use a piece of tape today. And we need a piece of tape to hold our umbrella down to our canvas. And we'll just roll it around and stick it on there. Put our tape on there. We've got our canvas that we've got painted already. And we'll take our umbrella. Put it right there in the middle. And look. There you go. Now, you could draw you right there, holding your umbrella. Or you could draw your dog over here. Or you could draw your cat, or you could draw a bird, or you could draw your, your mom or your dad, or your grandma or grandpa. You could draw somebody holding the umbrella. Wouldn't that be cool? And there you have you, or your dog, or your cat, standing in the rain under the umbrella so you don't get wet. All right, well, that's it for me today. I hope you have had a nice 
art project to do. Hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you liked our story, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.